back. This is Chili Davis. I'm back to another video. And welcome back, all my subscribers and all my new viewers. This channel where we talk about my top stocks, we also talk about dividend stocks. And if you're new, please click that subscribe button and please click the notification bell to get my frequent updates. Uh, also, if you really like this content, please click the like button. That helps the YouTube algorithm. Okay, on Friday, we had a pretty good stock market. We had SoFi up 4.31, AMD up 3.77, and Microsoft up 2%. So those are some of the hot stocks on Friday. And <clears throat> we are nearing the earning call season. So we got banks reporting earnings and some of the tech companies reporting at the end of October. Uh, so let's take a quick look at the market in general. Okay, the market in general on Friday, the Dow Jones was up slightly 0.87. The S&P was up 1.1%, and the NASDAQ was up 1.60%. Also, the S&P was up 081 so on Friday in general, the market was up. We do have CPI data and we have banks to report uh, probably the end of next week, Friday, or going into the following week. But earnings season is coming up. Uh, like I said, we have tech like Tesla reporting end of October and Apple and the like coming in early November. Okay. Now, right now over the weekend, uh, we do have... Israel under attack. Looks like there were several uh, rockets fired by the Hamas. Uh, so Israel has been under attack this weekend. Um, so that may cause oil prices to surge. Okay. Uh, so that's one thing that will impact the market possibly on Tuesday. Again, remember Monday is a holiday. So the market will be closed for Monday. Now I'm just going to take a quick look at the Robin Hood portfolio. We were up on Friday, uh, toward the end of the day, uh, we were up, as you can see, we're up for the most of the part, uh, Friday and going in, but I want to look at the bigger picture of the last week or so, uh, last week or so we were down and then we were back up. So if we look here, we were down during the week and then we came back up and then on Friday we picked up again. Uh, so basically the market has been like a roller coaster, but if we look at the last three months, been down and only down 4% in the Robinhood portfolio. And then for the year, we're actually up 14% over the last year for a gain of $300. Okay. So over the year in the Robinhood, we are up significantly over 14%. Okay. So that's the positive news that if the Fed does pause hiking interest rate, it could cause the market to surge again, okay? We we don't know if the rally is coming for sure, uh, but what we're waiting for is the Fed to pause interest rates. We don't know if it's coming right now. They're saying there's another hike coming. Uh, the rumor is uh, higher rates for longer, okay? So hopefully we get another pause out of the Fed, and then once that last pause is over in November or December, then they start cutting rates because right now the current interest rate for a mortgage buyer is 7.25% to 8.25%, making it highly unaffordable for most people to buy in the market, okay? So right now, like I said, market over the last week has been flat. Uh, we got CPI data coming out on Wednesday. So that's inflation data, how much inflation we faced over the last month. Um, and like I said, oil prices may surge uh, since there is the Israel-Hamas conflict. Uh, there was 22 rockets fired over Israel this past weekend, uh, some striking buildings, as you can see, a crumpled buildings. Uh, but again, um, that could cause oil prices to spike. So we'll see what energy prices do and energy-related stocks do on Tuesday. Remember, the market is closed on Monday uh, and uh, due to the holiday. Uh, but other than that, uh, pretty much just to look at the TD account. Okay, pretty much the same. If I look at the last six months of the market since May of uh, second, 
uh, the market has been up up until about June uh, and it dipped and then it climbed a little bit more in uh, July. Uh, but since then, since July, uh, the market has kind of trended downwards. Okay, so July 20th, the, the portfolio hit around 43,000. And since then, it's dwindled back down to about 40,000. Okay, so that's the quick overview of the portfolio. Again, for the year in the Robinhood and the TD, we have been in the positive. Uh, but like I said, it seems right now we're trending, tr we're not trending down, but we're sort of flat. Okay, so that's the news. Uh, hopefully, going into 2024, we have a positive year. But pretty much, I don't expect too much to go on if interest rates do not get paused or start getting cut. If the Fed indicates a pause, that'll send good news to the stock market and we can keep heading north instead of kind of in a flat uh, sideways uh, at this time, okay? So that's the news. Uh, pretty much, like I said, um, we should open back up on Tuesday. On Friday, the market was up. The Dow Jones was up 0.87%. The S&P was up 1%, the NASDAQ was up 1.60%. And remember, energy prices may spike on Tuesday when the market does open. And uh, that's, that's all I got. So, again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.